Hi, this is a quick test just to look at using um, PDF files on my um, iPhone. Now the problem has always been that we've, as Vectorworks users, we always want to have the original files on our um, iPhones and indeed if you're into Android, into an Android phone. But you can't do it. Vectorworks is only available on the one system and that's the Vectorworks program on your Mac or PC. So the way around this is to send out a PDF file and this is the way that I do it and that is that I use something called Dropbox. Now Dropbox is great, we've gone over this before and it's a really useful um, setup and what I do is I save onto my PDF, all my PDFs for all my projects that I want to look at onto my Dropbox file into a PDF file and then I've got all my jobs all online so if I want to look at one I can then load it straight in. Now it does take time over the telephone system. I'm using my home um, Wi-Fi system at the moment and you can see how quickly it's loading it up. It's not swift and this is not a very big job. Um, it's a small house extension to, um, um, to a friend's house. Now as you can see Basically, um, I've got my opening screen, then the usual maps, the existing, the proposed elevation, sorry, the existing elevations. And every now and again, it just has to try and think. Now, there's four of nine pages coming up here, and it's still loading them up. Um, either that or the phone's just having uh, problems with it. But you can see there is some elevations. There's my specification, and there's an electrical layout. So basically I've got some existing plans there and I can zoom in reasonably well. Now it takes time for it to um, bring the resolution back in but it does do it. Um, now at the moment there is no way of putting in the classes that we use as class layers within the PDF which you can do normally. Um, I haven't found a way of doing that at the moment, but hey, if you want to read your drawings in your own site, then this is probably the best way of doing it. As you can see, um, it does take time to load up, and I'd imagine over the telephone for a large file, it does have its limitations, but it's there and it can be used. What I also do is that when I'm using this system, and I want the file already preloaded up, and there you see it's jumped into it, what I do is I actually load it up as a favourite. Now if you do that it doesn't have to load it up, it loads it up once and keeps it on the iPhone for you. Um, and that way you can get into it pretty quickly. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I'll just demo I think the um, the use of the, um, the favourites. You'll see down the bottom it's a starred area. And as the phone loads up, which it will do in a second or two, it's not swift is it? There we go. All coming up. Now you see down the bottom there is a star button. Now what I can do is I can go down here and I can look down here at the main menu and there is a favourites button. Now if you press that I've got no favourite files in there. But if you go into my Dropbox and load one up, say 6 Barwell, which was a job I've just recently um, done, and you can save that as a starred PDF favourite. Now when it loads it all the way up, you'll find that that job is now in my favourites. Let's see if it's done that and go back up again. There we go. Right, let's go into favourites. And there it is, six bar well. It's all loaded up onto my machine. So I don't have to go and wait for it. So when you're in the office, load it all up, go out to site, and you've got a set of drawings all in your machine. Um, simple and easy way to do it. I wish there was a Vectorworks API call program that allowed us to see the actual drawings. Isn't to be, unless Nemechek do something about it. Okay, I hope that's interesting for you. Be good, be kind, take care.